How's it going, everybody? Today, we have a cool experiment that I like to call Walking Water Rainbow. Why is it called that? Well, in a few minutes, you're going to see where that name comes from. Enough with the chit-chat. Let's get started. As with all science experiments, we start by thinking about what we already know. We know that during this pandemic, people are trying to spread happiness by painting pictures of rainbows and hanging them on their windows. We know that real rainbows are made by light interacting with water droplets. We know that water is a liquid. And we know that water can move through certain materials. In this experiment, we are trying to answer one question. Can water move from one container to another through paper towels? Let's make a guess or a hypothesis. Do you think that water can move from one container to another through paper towels? What do you think? Do you think that, yes, water can move from one container to another only through paper towels? Do you think that, no, water cannot move from one container to another only through paper towels? Or are you not sure? Remember, this is just a guess. You may not know the answer, and in science, that is perfectly fine. For this experiment, we are going to need some materials. We will need five clear cups. I'm using glass cups, but you can also use plastic. Just make sure the cups are clear. No red Solo cups. We will need some water, a spoon, four paper towel sheets, each rolled up tightly. We are also going to need three colors of food coloring, red, yellow, and blue. I use gel food coloring for this experiment, but any liquid food coloring will work. Now that we have our materials ready, let's find out what we're going to do. Before we start our experiment, let's read over the steps of our experiment. Reading first helps us better plan out our experiment in advance. This experiment has 10 different steps. Step one, set five cups in a row near each other. In this experiment, the rim or top of each glass was touching its partner. Step two, put water almost to the top into the first, third, and fifth cups. I used another larger cup to fill each of the three glasses with water. The water in my glasses was almost to the very top. Step three, put red food coloring into the water of the first cup. Stir carefully. You don't want to spill any water. Step four, put yellow food coloring into the water of the third cup. Stir carefully. You don't want to spill any water. Step five, put blue food coloring into the water of the fifth cup. Again, stir carefully. You don't want to spill any water. I use between 10 to 15 drops of food coloring in each glass. I would use less blue food coloring if I were to do this experiment again. I will tell you why later. Step six, put the ends of one paper towel into the cup with red water and empty second cup. Step seven, put the ends of one paper towel into the cup with yellow water and empty second cup. Step eight, put the ends of one paper towel into the cup with yellow water and empty fourth cup. Step nine, put the ends of one paper towel into the cup with blue water and empty fourth 
cup. Just a little advice. Start with the empty cups. Place an end of each paper towel roll in the two empty cups first. You should have two paper towel rolls in each empty cup with two ends sticking straight up into the air. Once you have the two paper towel rolls in both the second and fourth cups, you can put each end into a cup of colored water. Work carefully, but quickly. Step 10, observe what happens. You should be able to see some results within the first 10 minutes. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? What did you observe? What did you see? Let's organize what we saw, starting at the very beginning of the experiment. How many cups had water in them at the beginning of the experiment? One, three, or five? That's right, there were three cups that started with water. Red water, yellow water, and blue water. How many cups had water in them at the end of the experiment? One, three, or five? That's right. When the experiment ended, all five cups had water in them. What color was the water in the second cup? Red, yellow, or was it some other color? That's right, the second cup ended up with something else. It ended up with orange water. 
the orange showed up really well. Remember when I mentioned that you shouldn't put too much blue food coloring in the fifth class? The blue overpowered the yellow in my experiment. You can just see a dark shade of green when a light is shining up from the bottom of the glass. If you use less blue, you should end up with a much more vivid shade of green. Now that we have finished our experiment and collected our data, what conclusions can we come up with? What questions can we answer? Did water move out of the first, third, and fifth cups? Yes, no, or maybe. Yes, the water moved out of the first, third, and fifth cups. What did the water travel through to get into the second and fourth cups? Did it travel through paper towels? Did it travel through a table? Or did it travel through air? Yes, the water traveled through the paper towels. Look back at step two. You made a guess or a hypothesis about whether water can move from one container to another through paper towels. Was your guess correct? Yes or no? Remember, it is fine if your guess was not correct because it was only a guess. In science, there are no wrong answers for your hypothesis. That is our science experiment for today. I hope you learned that you can create an awesome looking rainbow using just some tools around the kitchen. Until next time, 